Today, I want to talk about a really common problem that many people have with Power BI, and that is trying to time their Power BI report refreshes on the service with when the data is ready on the database. This can be a really difficult thing to do because oftentimes databases don't always finish processing data at the same time. For example, maybe one day you have very little data and the database finishes processing at 2 a.m. And maybe the next day you had a ton of data. And so the data, the reporting database finishes processing data at 5 a.m. So if you were trying to refresh your Power BI report only when the data set was complete, uh, trying to guess when to schedule it would be very difficult. So how do you solve this problem? Well, you refresh the Power BI report with an API request. An API request is something that most databases and or orchestration tools can send, and then you can receive it with a tool that many of you probably already have as part of your Microsoft uh, Enterprise license, and that is Power Automate. That is what we're going to be taking a deep dive into today. I'm going to be showing you how to use Power Automate to receive an API request and then trigger a Power BI report refresh. So let's jump in and let's take a look at Power Automate. So to get to Power Automate, we're going to go to make.powerautomate.com and then hit enter. And then you're going to go ahead and sign in and you're going to be defaulted into this page. We're then going to create a new Power Automate flow by clicking the create button and then clicking uh, automated cloud flow. Then once we see this pop up right here, we're going to hit skip and then we're going to click add a trigger. We're going to go down and we're going to select our runtime of built in and then we're going to select request and it's going to be when an HTTP request is received. That's going to be our trigger. And we're going to set, say that like, hey, either anyone can use this trigger, anyone in my tenant, or only specific users in my tenant. Once we have uh, this request saved, it's going to generate an, a URL, and that's going to be the HTTP URL that we can have the server post to to let us know that, hey, it's finished refreshing. All right, so now I'm going to close out of this. I'm going to go through, and I'm going to add an action. And I'm going to search for Power BI and I'm going to click see more and then I'm going to go down to refresh data set I'm going to sign in to create a connection to my Power BI tenant and then uh, once that is loaded I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select the data set and the workspace that I want to refresh and that's it that is how you can automate the or orchestrate the refresh of a Power BI dataset using Power Automate. You can also have this trigger be something like an email or a Teams message uh, if you're not comfortable using HTTP requests. Once you have this all ready to go, you're going to go ahead and hit save. Um, and it's going to want my, let me go quickly, give it a data set. So we'll hit save. And then um, it'll check it. And then just like that, we have a Power Automate flow that will automatically refresh with our data set. So I hope you learned something today. Have you used Power Automate in other ways or for other cool projects? If so, let me know down in the comments. Uh, if you're interested in videos like this or business intelligence, please consider subscribing and liking this video. It keeps me motivated to keep on making them. And if you're interested in learning a little bit more about me or my background, consider checking out my LinkedIn in the video description down below and giving me a follow. Thanks for watching.